and they are racing at Turfway. It was a good start for Prince of Roses, also uh, Velasimo flashing speed. And from the inside, wire to go on the stretch out. The Blakers on is keen to go on. And there goes wire to go. The Sun had dialed in up to contest the pace with Velasimo. These two match strides about two in front of Life and Light, who came away racing in third. Richard Klein's net worth is to the inside of him in fourth. Hendricks up to the outside is fifth and about six off the pace. Prince of Roses broke sharp, is back into seventh, about seven and a half off the lead, up to the outside on the class Drop Savion Blanc is shading that one. And from the backfield, Charles Metal is making an early backside move. Risky choice, third last. Tex Coco, second last. And Connect Me can't see them all. Quarter kind of quick for this distance, 23 and 4. Velasimo and Wired to Go. Those two doing the business up top. Hendricks in the clear, but has been parked out wide for much of the journey from third. Life and Light full of run, just waiting to be let go to the inside. Then it is Net Worth and Savion Blanc's underway. Meanwhile, still grinding away. Charles Metal and Charles Metal continues that wide ascent up to the outside, doing so while in hand, but Tex Coco is locked and loaded in behind him. Half mile, 48 and one. Wired to go, still up top. Wired to go shows the way, but here comes Tex Coco and Charlie's Metal as they reach the top of the home stretch. Wired to go will cut to corner. Charlie's Metal to the outside from second. The White Blinkers now. Life and Light has been let go, and here comes the Bug Boy splitting horses in the final furlong. It's Life and Light forging to the front. Tex Coco continues to rally, and from the backfield, risky choice at a huge number. It is Life and Light got through, and a heads up ride by the Bug Boy, and he one by better than a length. A three-way go to for the photo for second there involving Tex Coco, Risky Choice, and Charlie's Medal. And the running time, 139. Completes the field of 11. They are at the post. And they are racing. Navy Cross stood there when they kicked it in his way last. Middle John with an alert beginning. Moonstrike flashing speed up the fence. And the motto is squeeze them on for some positional pace on the run down the back stretch. Blanton away in the fourth position. Deep on the course. Both Rivoli and Giacometti. Bodet's trying to catch a hold. Not quick enough, though. Moonstrike up to the inside. Still two. Back to Moonba Quake. And then a link back to in loop. Still six back to Drama Critic, who's away in the 10th position after standing at the start. Navy Cross is 11th and last. The quarter 22 and 1. Mendel John for WW leads. Blanton in from second. Three deep Rivoli now stalking that duo from third. There goes Rivoli with a three wide blitz. From between horses, Moonstrike now moves a closer fourth. The motto is being ridden and shoved upon, but he's running in place and about to be passed by In Lou as they race around the turn. Drama Critic from the backfield is full of run. Half mile, 45 and two, three across the course to the top at home stretch. Mendel John will cut the corner, Blanton in the middle, and up to the outside, set to strike, Rivoli's third. Meanwhile, In Lou has found his best stride. He's moving in tandem with Moonstrike. We're down to Moonstrike and up to the outside, In Lou. Late on the scene, Drama Critic is getting going but getting going way too late in the final 16th. Moonstrike and the Bug Boy with another one. He takes the double and Moonstrike for Qatar and Wesley win race two to start the pick four at five to one in 117 flat. The daughter of Cupid to the outside. They are at the post. And they are racing. Diamant Damsa had a fast beginning. Utsi's got Rolston out to the front. And then it is Bodiful up the inside for the place. I do what it do. Came away racing in the fourth position. Splitting horses, Lady Livermore. Up to the outside. Spirit Catcher is uh, closing uh, early down the backside. Then a couple links further back. It is Party Next Door just in front of Cortado. Bank charges down to the inside a couple links to Honeytown. As they head up the backside, the quarter 22 and 2. Three across the course from the inside out, Bodiful, Diamant, Damsa, and up to the outside, Rolston. As these three go on with it, up from the outside, it's it, do what it do, uh, is gaining ground from between horses, starting to roll now. Lady Livermore up the inside, Olivia's Joy, as they race around the far turn run. Bodiful still shows the way, and Bodiful up top by a length and a half. Whip is out on Deerbo, but she's way out wide as Bodiful will turn him on down. Lady Livermore is going to get a rail run, and Utsi's imploring Rolston for some more. And from the clouds, here comes Spirit Catcher, who's rolling down. Down the stand side in Spirit Catcher and the Bug Boys sweeping up and sweeping on by. Spirit Catcher and Walter Rodriguez, the apprentice, will take the early pick three. A natural hat trick as they win going away, drawing in off the also 118 
for that. And they are at the post. And they are off in the Robert Patterson retirement race. And it was a good beginning for Indigo Rich. Also quick into stride, big ball spin. The gray, gray charmer splitting horses. There's Winchell Thoroughbreds under the gun. And now Blue Norther up the inside as they head up the backside. And Indigo Rich and the nation's six all-time lady jockey Perry Utes out to set the tempo. Sprinklehead at a big number. Another long shot from second. Big ball spin third to the inside. The son of frosted Blue Norther is fourth. As they head up the backside, counter strike races just towards the inside of Dream Traveler. Then it's under the gun with a wide angle, the far turn run. It is a group 18. Meanwhile, checking out of there is Gray Charmer is now last, the quarter 22 and 2. Indigo Rich at 74 to 1, showing the way. Up from the outside, gaining ground. Big boss Ben, upset minded. Now Blue Norther is going to get a split from the backfield. Dream Traveler just went wide and took Fort Lowell out to baggage claim six over at Delta Top at home stretch. And Big Boss Ben assumes command, but here's Counter Strike. And the jock just sitting tall in the saddle, looking for competition, but he better look to his right because here comes Gray Charmer's. Sweeping up to the outside. Gray Charmer moving with Group 18. Counter Strike is being asked to quicken now, and he is, but these three in a flying Florence photo finish. I think the horse in the middle got the better of the bobs, but a three horse blanket photo finish in 117 flat. They're at the post, and they are racing. Blueberry with an alert beginning. Frady jumped well. Also, Kentucky Miss flashing speed. Mr. Cunningham really deep on the course into the first turn run. Must be in about the seven or eight path. As Frady clears off, Blueberry the favorite rule release and let that one go. Mr. Cunningham trying to tuck in now. Kentucky Miss back into fourth. Ministerial is wide from fifth. Then it is Silent Steve. Brody's fly in hand just to the outside of Tuskegee Cat. Then it's the gray, right in on the ice. Towards that one's inside, up the backside is Bioka. Advancing to the outside of the horses with an early backstretch move is Father Patrick. And at the back of the pack, King Shaman, the quarter moderate, 24 and 3. Three across the course. Frady to the inside, in the middle, Mr. Cunningham. And Ministerial up the backside, racing in third. Still three. Back to Kentucky Mist, who is just to the outside of the favorite Blueberry. They are fourth and fifth, and about five in front of Silent Steve and Tuskegee Cat. The gray riding on the ice is three deep. Up the inside comes Bioka. Half mile was 48 and two. Frady and Farron show the way. Mr. Cunningham at 67-1 to, to the outside. Ministerial is under a heavy ride. The whip is out on that one already. Meanwhile, Blueberry at 9-5 to five is locked and loaded, but he's run into a thicket of horses here. Meanwhile, now they're going to float out and give him the split as uh, Blueberry gets lucky and gets on through outside the furlong grounds, and the class dropper comes to the eighth pole with a uh, two-length lead. Uh, up to the outside, it's right on the ice and silent, Steve, and everybody else is chasing Blueberry. Blueberry, and Blueberry will get it done here, going away by just about three and a half in the end. Tuskegee Cat got up to the outside of Bioka, then Silent Steve was fourth. Blueberry on the drop-in class gets it done, 138 and one. They are at the post, and they are racing. Okay, Robin Dorado with a fast start, also strong odor, flashing speed, and up to the outside, Thunder Love. Then Baby No Worries close up to the pace today from fourth. Praise and Honor is fifth. Altered Shot takes off the speed, second last, and Secretly Wicked is seventh and trailing. It is Thunder Love showing the way, three parts of a length, a strong odor to the inside. From the extreme outside, Praise and Honor third. Baby No Worries is in between horses from fourth. K. Robin Dorada sequestered from fifth, covered up by Altered Shot, who's on the move, and Secretly Wicked is still last. They head to the far turn, just about five sixteenths of a mile to race, and Thunder Love setting the of fractions up top. Up to the outside, here comes Praise and Honor. Rodriguez looking for his fourth on the night. Baby No Worries within striking range as Altered Shot is going to go wide for the drive. Top and a home stretch. Thunder Love will cut to corner. And Thunder Love off the turn in front by a length and a half. Now daylight for K. Roman Dorada to come on through. Praise and Honor to the outside. Meanwhile, Altered Shot is set down. It's Thunder Love still finding up top. Altered Shot lunging up late. It's Thunder Love. Here comes Altered Shot. Thunder Love left alone on the lead and goes coast to coast. 
Thunder love for Apollo Lobo. She wins gate to wire to pick up her fifth lifetime victory. The Great Britain bred home a winner in 110 and 1. They're at the post. And they are racing. Good start for Finestra. Also quick in his stride, Samurai Prince. Page one uh, up the inside for OXO, now forwardly placed. Through from the inside, there goes Merlin Song up to the outside, the gray Angkor. And right in between those two is Oxwood on the run down the back stretch. Then it's Nathan Detroit, Bullbriar advancing to the inside, deep on the course. There goes American Icon, still two. Back to Hilarious Affairs, second last and wide. And the gray explosive at the back of the pack. The quarter on the board, 22 seconds flat. Finestra shows the way a length and a half to page one. Stalking from second in the clear, Samurai Prince third. Uh, up the inside comes Merlin Song from fourth. Angkor to the wide angle from fifth. From the backfield running on, Hilarious Affair is up into sixth. Bullbriar to the inside, then it's Oxwood as they round the turn. One quarter to go. And Finestra collared by page one as they race towards the top of the home stretch. Half mile on it toward 44 and four. Off the turn and there's a stretch run. Here comes page one to the outset of Pace City Finestra. Samurai Prince is coming full board down the stand. Inside. Here's Samurai Prince lifting off and opening up. It's Samurai Prince rolling to victory here. Won it by almost two. A three-way photo for second. I think Encore got up in that photo over page one and pace setting Finestra in 109 and one. Field of 11 at the post. And they are racing. Mamba forever broke sharply. It's what a blast reaching out for the early lead. Noises off and way in the third position. Book of Kells to the outside in fourth. Meanwhile, Scat to tap on heels into the first turn run. Got bounced around a little bit there. Meanwhile, advancing, avoiding all trouble is Royal Sandra, who's up into fourth. So around the opening turn, six furlongs to go. And what a blast has made the point. From the outside, Mamba Forever is second, three deep. Dubai and back third. Noises off is in fourth, about three off the lead. Midnight Noir is fifth. Then a link back to Royal Sandrin and Scat to Tap. Then we travel back a link to the Gray Stonemont reunion. To the inside is Glen Airy as they head up the backside. Advancing to the outside of horses on the back stretch run is Dubai and back. And then uh, a link for the back, it's Quality Chic. The quarter was 24 seconds flat. They passed the half mile pole. What a blast. Took him through the half, 48 and 1. Shows the way three parts of a length. Mamba Forever still chasing in second. Book of Kells continues to hover to the outside, stretching out from third. On the inside, it's noises off from fourth. Up to the outside, there goes Stonemont Reunion, the gray, and right on his back is Scat to tap from the backfield. Check out this move from Quality Sheik, who's exploding in the far turn run as they reach a top at home stretch. Stonemont Reunion will turn him on down. Splitting horses is noise and off, still fighting onto the inside. What a blast. And continuing to grind away down the stand side is Dubai and back in the gray. Quality Sheik is trying to split horses as they're in the deep stretch. Stonemont Reunion at a big number upset minded. Noises off to the inside. They race down to the wire. Stonemont Reunion and noises off to the wire. A photo finish. Photo finish. And I think Stonemont Reunion got up. And if he did, that will force a huge pick five carryover. Photo for win.